And we met a flood victim who is now homeless for the second time in a matter of weeks. She moved to Mississippi after a fire destroyed her home in Oklahoma. Twin States reporter Quintus Jones has her heart rendering story. This is just a taste of what people in the Jackson area are dealing with. Homes like this, entire yards are inundated with water, forcing many people out. Some of them have nowhere to go. Tonight, the mighty Pearl River has taken on all that it can hold, turning streets into rivers, homeowners wading through the rising waters. For some, the only way out is by boat. After everything we've been through, I'm like, this is the blessing for me now, but now it's gone. <laughs> Rochelle Watson just moved here seven days ago after losing her home to a fire in Oklahoma. She thought she'd found the perfect home in Jackson, only for Mother Nature to take it all away. It's like, what do I do now? I own a 08 Volvo XC90 and I have four children and I've been a single mother for 12 years almost. And this is like my last stop, you know, is to come, get a house, move in, uh, be able to rebuild my home, uh, repair my life. Now she's homeless again. The shelter, her home away from home. I would not wish it on anybody, to be honest. It's not about the shelter itself. It's about being a single mother in a shelter with kids. But she's clinging to her faith. She says this storm is just another Another test, and she's confident the sun will soon shine again. All I can do is just keep prayer and know that after this storm, literally, that there's going to be a rainbow on the other side. Now, things like this could go on for days, and the family I spoke to says where they go from here, they just don't know. For now, reporting in Jackson, I'm Quintus Jones for Twin States News.